let me say this. When you begin to live for God, the enemy is going to try to attack you in any type of way, whether it is in your dreams, while you are awake, through other people, it does not matter in any type of way. There is something that happened to me in 2016 and it has carried on even till 2017. So in 2016, I told this person what happened. And this person told me their thoughts on it. And I told that person my thoughts on it. And around in 2016, this person was, this person continued to speak about it. And I would try to explain things to this person and I am wrong. <laughs> Apparently I am wrong. And some people may say, why don't you stay away from that person? I pray to God, I can. I wish God would say, hey, stay away from that person. And I would say, thank you, Jesus. But the thing about it, this person calls me and asks for help. And even when I don't want to help this person, I go anyway. I don't want to be around this person, but I go anyway because if I was to get sick or injured or whatever, I would want help as well. And it is not only good to help the people that we like being around, because what reward is there if you help the people or love the people that love you or help you. We have to help people even when we really dislike being around them. So this person calls and I usually help this person when he or she asks for help. And inside my mind, I am like, I don't want to help this person. I believe this person really went through some hard times or had a hard life or people must have mistreated that person. So with pain, and if you, if you have ever been around a person that have been hurt, which we all have been hurt, but some people use their hurt and act in a negative way in it. But if you have been around a person who have been hurt, usually they are very difficult, very. So this person was telling me about how they felt about it and told me what I should do and stuff like that. And I told this person how I felt and I told this person that, hey, I am being tested. You ain't being tested, blah, blah, blah. And I am like, well, let me just shut up and let this person speak. And every so often, because I help this person just about every month. Like I said, I don't, but I am doing it for God. I am not doing it for that person, but I am doing it for God. Not for that person, because if it was only for that person, no. 
I would never come around that person. Anyways, it got to the point where, and I continued to say, you are not going to agree with me and I am not going to agree with you. Why continue to speak about it? So finally, after a while, this person said to me, I am not going to talk about it. So for a while, this person did not talk about it and I was so happy about it. This person, for a short time, this person would not speak to me while I was helping that person out. And I was so happy about that, yes. Peace. <laughs> I don't speak to you and you don't say anything to me. Thank you. Peace. I am okay with that. And this person, after a while, a month or two, this person started to have a conversation with me. And I am thinking, oh boy. Then shortly after that, he started to speak negative. He or she started to speak negative about other people. And this person told me that that person would stop speaking negatively about other people. I told that person that what you are doing is wrong. And I showed that person scriptures where you are not supposed to speak negatively about people. And this person argued with me with that. I am showing you what the Bible says. And this person believes that this person has to right to do that. So, going back to what happened to me in 2016 so that person began or began to speak more on that when that person said that they would not speak about that anymore and i learned to not say anything because i don't want to fall into sin for arguing with a person because I started to notice that demons were using that to get me all angry and raise my voice and all this stuff here and after doing all of that I noticed that I was not getting through that person so I was like what is the point of saying anything? So more and more, every so often, this person would speak about what I was going through. And what I would do, let's say this person wants me to do something for him or her. I would pray, I would pray that night and while I was going to that person's house the entire time I would pray maybe not the entire time but I would pray and that was going very well for a while and what happened I saw how good things were going so I said to myself maybe I don't have to pray as much now because this person is not acting the way that he or she was acting. I noticed when I would not pray, after a while, this person would revert right back. And I would say to myself, why didn't I pray? <laughs> Anyways, let me fast forward a bit. And there is a point to this. I am not telling you this story to entertain you or whatever else, but let me fast forward it 
this one day, let's say that person I help is person A. I was talking to an other person with person A. And person B, let's call that other person, person B. Person B was asking me about something that is happening to me now that happened in 2016. So I was telling person B about some things and stuff like that. So person A had this look of frustration on his or her face and said, I am going to say this. And when that person said that, I was like, my Lord. And this person starts saying some foolish, unnecessary things. Kevin, blah, 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 Kevin, blah, 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 blah. And I don't want to be rude and walk away and, or I don't want to say anything because if I was to say anything, it would make this person talk even more. And I was saying, perhaps I should not come by this person or ever talk to, talk to this person ever again. But I was thinking, no, that would be wrong as well. Because what reward is there if I only help people that are nice to me? Or if I only help people that are not right we have to help people that may be really difficult so I was saying well I have to talk to this person because they are going to call me or that person is going to call me I have to be around that person to help that person I don't want to walk off because if that person calls me, I am going to have to be around that person anyway. I don't want to be rude or make an issue bigger than what it already is or larger than what it already is. So while that person was speaking in a foolish manner to me, I was sitting there, yes, while that person was talking crazy to me, we have to understand that we have power in our words. We have power in our words. You have to understand that. So when a person says bad things about you, those are curses. If you don't verbally break those curses, those curses are going to stick to you. And I was telling that person to not speak in the past. I would tell that person to not speak negatively about people. Because whatever you sow, you are going to reap. Did this person listen to me? No. So anyways... Under my breath, while that person was speaking crazy to me, I was saying, under my breath, I break every curse this person places on me right now in the name of Jesus. Everything this person is saying about me has no effect on me. And I was going on and on while that person was speaking in that foolish way to me. So while I was driving home, what that person said replayed in my mind or tried to replay in my mind over and over and over again. And I said, demons, I bind and cast you out right now. We have to know that demons can place thoughts into our mind. And over and over and over again, it kept on coming to my mind that you should not help this person. 
you should never talk to this person ever again and all this stuff here and I was like no I have to help this person if this person asks for help I have to help this person I am NOT helping that person because of that person but I am helping that person because of God so all of these negative thoughts began to come to my mind and I was constantly telling those demons to leave so that evening I was listening to this teaching about the end times I believe and these foolish thoughts <laughs> kept on trying to creep in I was like this have to end now so I got down on my knees and I started to pray And I was telling God about the whole issue and stuff like that. And while I was praying, I forget how long I was praying, but answers came to me. I'm serious. I am serious because I could not think of a reason why that person would act in that way. So, well... Of course you know that it is demons that make people do dumb things and stuff like that, but my mind was on other things. So I was praying. Yes, let me say this. First, what I did, I was saying over and over and over again, perhaps maybe 30 to 50 times, I was saying, God, please calm me down, or no. I said, God, please take away this frustration from me. And I continued to say that over and over and over and over and over and over and so many times. And while I was saying it so many times, I felt something like make me more untense if that makes any sense to you for some reason which i did not know at the time i was feeling more tight and while i was asking god to take away this frustration from me my body became more untense or it untensed if that makes any sense so when I calm down when I calm down I was praying to God about what happened and everything like that and while I was praying, the answers of why this person was acting like that or saying those things to me, the answers were coming to my mind or my thoughts, my mind. Pretty much what I was told, I believe it was the Holy Spirit or the primary thoughts that was coming to my mind, it was coming to me that demons are using that person. That it was a demon using that person to speak to me and the way that person was speaking to me. And once I understood that, what is the point of being angry at that person? What is the point in not helping out that particular person? If you know that it is a demon that is using that person, it is not that person that you have an issue with. It is that demon that you are having an issue with. 
So once you understand things in that standpoint there, how can you get angry at that person? So what is my point? My point is because we all are going to go through some issues with particular people. My point is, other than contemplating on the bad things that happened or what that person said to you, if you are feeling really angry or upset or sad or depressed, what you can do is continue to pray to God and ask God to take it away from you. Take away that depression from you. Take away that anger from you. Take away that frustration from you. What is your other option? Continue to have it and <laughs> and contemplate on it and make you feel worse that is not a good thing so I pray that this makes sense pray to get rid of those negative feelings because it is not that person that is so much doing you wrong or planting bad seeds within you it is that demon that is doing the most harm so if you pray to God for help he is going to help you we are not meant to fight these demonic battles on our own how can we We all need help. So this is why you need to pray. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.